from Shalom Acres. I want to go ahead and do a brief video. Well, probably it'll probably be a little bit longer of a video. I want to go ahead and show how to install an H post when you're making fence or pulling fence or for pulling fence. So what we're starting here is we're actually starting by digging our holes. So we've got some eight inch cedar posts that we're sinking in the ground. And then from there, we will go ahead and tie them together, actually cross brace them and then tie them together. That's what footage will show today um, on this. And then uh, after that, we'll try to uh, see if we can't make a corner post and see if we can't do an H post and a corner post in the same video. So you can see I'm sweating quite a bit right now. I'm about 34 inches down and you can hear I'm at solid rock. So I've been having to use a breaker bar to bust through most of this or a pinch bar as some people call it because I'm wanting to get to 36 inches 36 inches is what I'm shooting for for these corners and for the H post so we'll be back in a few minutes hopefully I can get this hole dug okay you can see we've got the hole dug through the rock at 36 inches I'm gonna go ahead and take our cedar post I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in and then we'll have both posts that we need for our H post. Okay, so now we've got the log in the hole. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and take a couple scoops of dirt. And then I'm going to just tamp it in. I'm going to make sure I don't put too much dirt in. So that way I can pack it in there. My goal is to have, even though there's a big log in here, my goal is to get as much as I can back in here and I'll be honest so far on most of these I've been able to get probably 90 to 95 percent of the dirt back in so that's what I'm shooting for on this one and uh, we'll be back with you in a, in a couple moments okay you can see we've got the, the dirt in the hole and it is packed in so we have tamped it stomped on it now and you can see we've got ourselves a really nice sturdy post it's not going anywhere feel pretty good about it and we've probably got at least 90 percent of the dirt back in the hole so we've got one more of these to do and then after that we'll go ahead and cut the cross member um, so stay with us thanks okay so now we've got our post set so we're going to go ahead and install the h portion of the post and what i'm going to do is our field fence is 48 inches tall that we're putting up and i'm going to go ahead and mark 42 inches so 42 inches is going to be the height of the actual H post I'm going to put in. So I'm going to mark the upper portion and then in a second I'm going to start up the chainsaw and we're actually going to go ahead and cut out this, this portion. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. I'm actually going to cut it in a V, v formation which will then force, force the, the actual posts apart a little bit but then should allow us to spring them back together and then we will tie them together after that. So come with us and we'll uh, show you that all.
right, so now we've got the end piece cut. And you can see what we've done is we've actually trimmed it down a lot more on the sides here. A little bit off the top and the bottom. So we're kind of making what you look like uh, one of the old colonial style, almost a split rail type fence. Now we're going to go ahead and see how it fits in the hole. Fits perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and notch or make a mark for the other side so then that way I can notch this one also. So now I'll cut that with the chainsaw, make another V-notch in that on the end, and then we'll slide them together. Be back in a second. Okay, so now we've got this end cut, ready to go. I'm going to force my one leg against this side, and I'm going to actually push this post out as far as I can, get it in place, pull it back, and now I'm going to go ahead and attach it with the wire. So we'll show you how to do that. Basically just take a staple, top and the bottom, and wrap it around, but we'll, uh, we'll go through that with you here in a second too. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a tape measure. And we're gonna measure up 54 inches. The reason why I'm going 54 is because I wanna make sure I'm a little bit above the height of the fence, but I also wanna give myself enough room to go ahead and put a strand of barbed wire on top of the fence. So 54 inches is what I'm gonna go ahead and measure it to. And then, we are going to go ahead and take our first staple and we're going to go ahead and staple this to it. And what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for enough wire left over that will get me 50% of the way uh, down the post. And I'll show you that in a minute why that's important. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go to the other side and we're actually going to staple it on the bottom. Hey Rachel, <laughs> that's a big chicken. Okay, so now on this side, on the opposite side, we're about two inches off the bottom. Let me go ahead and set up a staple in there. And then we'll just tap it in also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clip the wire. Clip this wire and then I'm going to go ahead and knot it together. Okay, so now we've got the bottom piece and you can see it's just over half and the top piece is just over half. So what I'm looking for is a good point to uh, mate. So I'm going to go ahead and bend this part over, make myself that, that spot where I'm going to go ahead and pull it tight into. So I'm going to pull it tight, and then I'm just going to simply hold it and pull it back. And then if you've ever put up barbed wire before, you just twist it around real nice. What I try to do is I always try to have my points sticking inward just in case if an animal would get to it. I try to always have it rounded down, and then we'll do the same for the top. And now I'm going to go ahead and put on the other wire. Okay, so now we've got both pieces of wire up. And what I've cut here is a piece of rebar. Cut a piece of rebar that's 22 inches long. And now what you're doing is you're just going to go ahead and take the piece of rebar and twist it around. So you're going to take it and twist it and it'll start pulling it all together. And you can hear the wood coming together. And the reason why the, the length of the rebar is important is because in a second we're gonna staple it up, make sure no animals do anything to it, or it doesn't come undone. And what you wanna do is on your final twist, because I'm really tight right now, <laughs> And I'm going to go one more twist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rebar, set it down here. And now I've got it long enough so when I bring it up, 
It can get tucked up underneath here. It's gonna get tucked up underneath. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach a staple right there. So we'll take the staple and put it right here in this part. So that way it doesn't go anywhere. And the one thing I always like to do is I always like to take the staples and put them at a little bit of an angle. So, you know, don't just stick it straight in here like this because it can actually cause a split in the board. So I take it a little bit of an angle so that way both points aren't hitting at the same spot. Take that. And I'm just looking to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So I don't beat it all the way flush. I just beat it to the point where I know it's not going to go anywhere. Wire's nice and tight. You can, you can see how tight the wire is from the top and the bottom. And the posts themselves, they're not, it's not going anywhere at all. So this is an H post. On our next video, we'll go ahead and try to turn it into it and actually make it a corner post. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Shalom.